Several districts across the area are adding security now. You can see the districts here on your screen from Katy to Klein and many in between. And that includes one of the districts closest to Santa Fe Galveston. And that is where our Michelle Choi is this afternoon. Sherman, alongside these green ribbons wrapped around palm trees in honor of those Santa Fe victims, we've also noticed a very heavy police presence today here at Ball High School. It's just one way Galveston ISD is beefing up their security measures. They're also asking students to leave backpacks and purses at home if they don't need it. Starting today, bags could be searched as part of their heightened security measures. And despite summer break starting next weekend, several students we ran into this morning walked into class with a heavy heart. Many of them say they were close with Santa Fe shooting victims and while appreciated of the increased security at their school, when asked if they felt safer, a lot of kids showed skepticism. If someone really wants to like go and shoot someone, they will. Nothing's going to stop them. So, but I mean, they're trying and it's, that's what counts. People are trying to go to school and get their education and, you know, people are scared to go to school because they don't know, you know, who's going to be the next school shooter. Oh, we feel safe. Yeah, we know that they're going to be there if something happens. Like none of us are really scared, but we also have that little scariness. Six. And those students express the unknown is what truly scares them. Now we're told Galveston ISD staff go through regular drills for emergencies, but the district still wants students and staff and parents to stay vigilant by monitoring social media posts and to immediately report any kind of threat or unusual activity. Sherman, back to you. All righty. Thank you so much, Michelle. So many heartbreaking stories from this.